everybody what's up welcome back to my channel so if you guys are new here my name is Bianca I make health lifestyle fitness travel all types of videos you guys should definitely stick around because I have a ton of fun videos coming up I'm getting ready to move in almost a month into my first apartment with my boyfriend so moving vlogs literally so many fun videos and so much content I have planned for you guys so I'm so excited and you should stick around and join the fam so Here's Colin. Colin's helping me film what this up? whole video, but if you didn't see my last video, I did a video exactly like this, and I just said video like 10 times, so shoot, sorry. <laughs> but I did another video just like this one, but I did Sarah's Day. So if you missed it, I ate and trained like Sarah's Day for a day. I bought all of her snacks that she likes, like Tropica Protein. I bought her Loving Earth snacks. We went over her fitness ebook. We did all types of things like that, her activewear. So I'm gonna kinda mimic that video, but this time we're eating and training like Whitney Simmons for a day. So I'm so excited. You guys know Whitney Simmons is a huge Gymshark athlete. I love Gymshark. Whitney is one of the people that I first started watching when I first started out my own fitness journey. And she really truly helped me figure out how to lift and like just basically what to do in the gym. So I really respect Whitney a lot, which is why I'm very excited to be making this video. In this video, I am going to follow one of her leg day workouts and also one of her ab workouts. I'm going to be eating the meals that she does because she posts a lot of what I eat in a day. So I'm going to kind of pick um, my favorite meals from those and make them just because I've been curious to try some. I also just got her new tart palette that she came out with. This is brand new, so I'm giving you guys my first impressions. I did order a piece of her merch so I could review it for you guys to kind of tell you what I think about it. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also after the video, comment down below what athlete I should eat and train like next. And we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Good morning, I am so excited to film this video. So. It is Tuesday and uh, we are completely starting the IA and trade like Whitney Simmons starting off this morning going to the gym and for my outfit I wanted to do kind of like a Gymshark try on haul of uh, this new color of their collection that they came out with so it's the ultra seamless collection I have the sports bra and the leggings of this really cool neon orange color so I'm going to try it on give you guys my first impressions this is my first pair of like anything orange Ultra seamless. So here we go. Dang, this is orange. Look at how bright this is. It is. Oh, this is so soft. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. They have these in shorts too, but I only bought this and now I looked online the other day and I saw that the shorts were sold out. So the sports bra. It's got like a lot of straps going on. A lot of strap action. But yeah, so we're wearing this to the gym. I'm gonna go try it on. I know Whitney Simmons always uses Alani New pre-workout. I love Alani New. I specifically like Arctic White and Mimosa, but they just came out with this Aloha Pineapple flavor. So we're trying it for the first time. I actually brought it with us. Usually we do our pre-workout at home, but I just decided it'd be fun to do it in the car today. This is like the first time I'm opening it. It's kind of flying everywhere. Ooh, it smells nice. All right. For Alani New, I usually do like one scoop plus a little bit more. Oops. Okay, it officially leaked everywhere. Taste test. Whoa. I don't know about that one. <laughs> it tastes really like a pineapple. It tastes like I mean, it is a little hot pineapple. It's very pineapple-y. Like sometimes it just kind of tastes like fruit, you know? Wow. Would you like to try it? Sure. Right? It's a strong pineapple. It's very strong pineapple. Like the mimosa is like... It doesn't really taste like orange. Like, like tastes like orange, but it's like Tastes like a watered down orange. Like it's not like very strong. This is like strong sweet pineapple. This tastes like you're drinking like a pineapple mix that goes with like an alcoholic a beverage. Yeah, like, it literally tastes like pineapple juice. Like yeah. strong. I'm yeah. not like a huge pineapple person, but it doesn't like it's pretty good, honestly. Like it tastes good, but yeah. it's like strong pineapple. It'll do the job. I uh, think I'm still team mimosa or Arctic White, but that's okay. I like trying new stuff. 
Yeah, I still like mimosa better. Mimosa, I think, is my fave.
back in the car. So I ended up doing one of Whitney's leg workouts and then one of her ab workouts. They are both on her Instagram, so I will put what they look like on the screen. But I thought the leg workout was really good. He kind of did some of it. Yeah, and then really we both ended up doing the ab workout. He just didn't do it when he was filming me, which thank you for filming. You're welcome. But um, I really thought both were great. I always think Whitney Simmons workouts are awesome. I started working out, I was following her workouts. Like she's pretty much how I learned how to lift. So yeah, I do really like her workouts a lot. But as far as the leggings go, I'm giving them a huge thumbs down because they're just not my favorite. And they're definitely pretty see-through and they got like a bunch of black stuff on them, which I know that could have happened to like any of my leggings, but I don't know if like the shorts are so much better and that's why everyone was just wearing the shorts and not really the leggings, but I personally, I like the sports bra a lot. I think it's cute and I think it has good support, but I really, really don't like these leggings like at all. But besides that, I really like it and I'm a huge Gymshark fan, you guys know that. Well, if you're subscribed to me, you would know that I love Gymshark, but not these. I'm usually like a Vital Seamless or Camo, kind of girl those are my favorite so we're on our way home we're gonna start eating I'm following the Whitney Simmons intermittent fasting Whitney because I still do IF and she used to too so I'm following that little dietary schedule versus eating before the gym because I just hate doing that so intermittent fasting Whitney even though she doesn't do it anymore is what I'm doing right now back from the gym first things first I'm going to be making breakfast up my hair just a little bit I changed into my Whitney Simmons merch so I kind of wanted to do like a little review this is the first time I've ever gotten her merch but it's just this cropped hoodie it has the it's a beautiful day to be alive over here her Whitney Simmons logo is down here on the arm it is super lightweight I love the cropped look I have it on with my Lululemon Align pants and yeah it also has a hood here I'll put the hood up because sometimes I like to know how like long hoods are you see this it's one of those good hoods it's one of those hoods that like if it's raining you're totally protected you know I really love this I love the taupe color so her merch I'm giving a 10 out of 10 because I really like it and how minimalistic it is so 10 out of 10 wit 10 out of 10 so this is the part that I've been waiting for the most the day she came out with her palette I bought it online at Tarte so I'm going to be doing my first impressions and reviewing it for you guys so here is the little box that it came in and then I'm just gonna open it B2 Dubs I'm like no beauty guru okay but I'm going to do an eye look with it I already did my face makeup and my eyebrows and stuff and just kind of give you guys my first impressions so it also came with a mascara and a lip I think okay so here's the palette it's very slimming if you remember Aspen Ovard's palette hers was a lot larger this is what the outside of it looks like what the lip packaging looks like and then this I'm really down for this color I love wearing this shade on my lips and then it's in bare bud 
the packaging has sneakers that's really cute and then the mascara is called man eater and it has um, a little leopard print on the outside and then this is what the applicator looks like so I'm gonna be trying that out too and using the lip stuff all right let's zoom us in maybe not that far okay this is really pretty it's a bunch of kind of like nude colors there's you but it's like I'd say very neutral has a blush and a highlighter I'm gonna be using that as well writing in the mirror it says shape your money makers which is cute and then um, the shades for the highlighter is flex the blush is sweat and then the shadows are cut trainer snatched cardio tone up and reps so that's really cute so I am going to put the shade cut all over my lid I love Tarte eyeshadows by the way. Tarte is my all-time favorite makeup brand and um, I've been using them for like years now for eyeshadow so I'm very down. Next up, I'm gonna put Snatched in my crease. There, Tarte's my favorite though because I feel like their eyeshadows go on so clean and flawlessly and I just really, really appreciate Tarte. I think it's cool how they do collaborations too with influencers like they did Aspen's and then Whitney's. I'm sure they've done other people too, but those are like the main people I really enjoy watching. Okay, I'm just gonna grab, um, let's do trainer. It's kind of like more of like a shimmer. I'm just gonna like kind of put it in the middle of my eyelid towards the outside, just to give it some definition, define my eyelid. And I'm gonna take reps. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line just cause I'm really into doing that lately. So I already did my bronzer. I'm gonna put on this blush. Wet. Using sweat, popping it onto my cheekbone, right below it, kind of blend it in with my bronzer. Last thing I'm gonna do is use flex on my highlight. And I'm a big fan of highlighter, so I'm gonna really put it on there. I always use Lash Paradise, and I really like this primer because it helps get your mascara off easily. So I am gonna prime my eyelashes with this mascara, though. All right, here we go with this. The mascara is kind of taking a couple layers to build up. And then last thing we're doing, putting on lipstick. Definitely goes on really smooth. I think it's really natural. I really like it. So for her whole palette, mascara, and lip collection, definitely give the palette a 10 out of 10. I do like the color of this lipstick. And the only thing I really don't like about the mascara is how much you have to build it up but I still did like it. It wasn't like I hated the mascara. Finished look, I really like natural looking makeup. I feel like this accomplished it. So if you guys like that too, I would definitely get this. We are in the car on our way to Trader Joe's. Whitney shops at Trader Joe's all the time, I have noticed. So we are gonna be picking up things for dinner there and then seeing what happens. But I have one recipe in mind that she made that I really would like to try. It looked really good to me. So we're gonna get stuff for that and then probably stuff for dessert. The goods. Okay, so from Trader Joe's, we got Brussels sprouts. I got organic jasmine rice. And so it says you can microwave it in three minutes, but I think I'm gonna go for the stove top because health is wealth. And then this is the main reason why I wanted to do this recipe was to try this out. So it's beefless ground beef. Beefless ground beef. Or vegetarian. I do eat meat, but I did wanna try it out. Just see what it was about. Give it a go. So that's why I chose this recipe. And then I also got these butternut squash zigzag little guys so we're gonna whip up a recipe with that and then for dessert i got the trader joe's brownie and cookie which they call the bookie which she ate in one of her what i eat in a took day forever for to find in yeah. trader joe's trader joe's is a confusing store we don't know if you've never there. shopped at trader joe's it's very different layout <laughs> it is it's not like whole foods or anything but anyways so I don't know, we found some cool stuff. I'm excited to like whip this up into a meal. And then I'm very excited to try this at the end. So here we go. Okay. 
the beefless ground beef in the pan. I'm just gonna season it with salt and then this is pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I'm gonna do some black pepper just because before I mix it all together, I wanna taste it with everything and just kinda like see how it tastes. But I'm just warming it up a little bit. It looks like there's already like some type of seasoning on there, so yeah. Just warming it up a little bit while I do that. I'm gonna saute the Brussels sprouts and then this like butternut squash stuff. And I'm also going to slice the Brussels sprouts in half. This only took like 10 minutes to make, so it was a quick meal. I'm gonna try it all together. I'm trying to get a bite with like everything on it and tell you what I think. Mm. Mm. Okay, all together is good. You wanna try it? What? Oh. She's isogenic cleansing. Do you wanna try it? I'm um, okay. Please. I'm alright. <laughs> sure. Okay. Do you like it? It's pretty good, right? Like you can't really taste the ground beef that's If like I had to eat it, I would. <laughs> it, but you'd rather have real meat? Is that the issue? Honestly, I think I can do everything except the Brussels sprouts. Oh, so that? Yeah. Okay, well. I like it, I think it's pretty good. Got this from Whitney Simmons, obviously, but we are trying this brownie cookie rookie by Trader Joe's. Yeah, we were told by the cashiers at checkout, they were like, have you tried this? They're like, we were like, no, so... they were like, it's I that thought M it was word. gonna be really dry, but it wasn't. But it was. We won't curse anyone who doesn't like the M word with the M word, but they yeah. said that. Oh, I can feel it, oh my gosh. Okay, take yours, or do you want this one? Um, you can, I'll grab that one, it's okay. okay. Oh, this might be like, this is this, this might, might be, be bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? Then two. Hold it over this just in case I fall. Three. One, two, three. Oh no. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is my favorite thing. I feel like maybe you put like some Hershey's chocolate syrup on this too, and mm -hmm. it'd be like the bee's knees. And ice cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, something? this mixed with ice cream. Would be great. Oh god. <laughs> You have to buy this. Cindy's was no. Mm-hmm. Was there an answer? Yeah. <laughs> How many calories are in this? Holy cow. A lot. One piece is 160 calories. One and done. One and done. Mm, great, yeah. Oh, it's good? Good way to end the video. Mm-hmm. That is everything for the video, you guys. I hope you liked it. Again, make sure you comment down below who I should eat and train like next. I'm kind of excited because next time I film it, like one of these videos, it's gonna be in our new apartment. So that's exciting. But I hope you guys liked the video and comment down below anything you want me to film next. And I will see you guys in my next one.